Yeah. I'm asking. No, I'm asking you to do a thought experiment. Well, Would you condemn a book? If I wrote my own religious book and said that it was okay to have slaves today, would you condemn my teaching? It's a thought experiment. Yeah, right, right, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right, so you have a problem with Islam. I'll tell you why you're scared of an answer. Oh, so, 20, no, no, because yeah, yeah, Muslims yeah. have a script so, and the moment you take them off the script, so, right, they clean us and they panic. Wally, Wally, Wally. I saw him slap someone straight in the face. He's literally trying to stop. He's run away. He's really angry. He's not at him. What? Provoking him? Is that what I understand? You're the man. 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 No, no, it's not. No, 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 no. Come down, 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 come It'll be on camera. It's not what this place is about. Yeah, it's not good. I'm sorry you had to do that, bro. I'm not even a punch, man. I would say do it, but we're in public. I would do it. I would do it, but I would not. I would not do it now. Your temper. They win. Yeah, yeah, don't bite. Because the thing is, multiple times in multiple weeks, they've exposed how their ideology fails them. No, no. And that is why they try to get riles out of suits, because then they can go, oh well, everybody does it. Yeah. So. Arif, give us an analysis, Arif. Give us an analysis. I want to know. Be calm. So this person is guy and he slapped this guy in the face. Push this one. Disgusting. Disgusting. And now the cowards have run away. I 
What you see at the park every single week, every single week, if these Islamists ever dominate our society, will happen to all of us. Every single one of us. What you're seeing in the park is a microcosm of what happens when Islam dominates a society. Christians are persecuted. And if you don't believe me, liberal progressives and do-gooders, yeah. well, tell me, which Islamic society yeah. are Christians not persecuted? Yeah. Which one? Which one? Tell me which one. Because they're persecuted across the entire Islamic world. And what you see is that when the Muslims dominate an environment, they start to persecute those in the minority. And this is why, as Christians, we to must honest, rediscover the the a muscular the Christian the faith. Always bring and this is why, bring as Christians, always. we need to challenge always. the failed always. ideology always. of the liberal the progressives the who simply refuse to see the problem. You can see it, it's documented every single week. Every single week. You just gotta wake up, guys. You just gotta wake up. But you generalize in all of us that we all be defiant, we all rave, we all bad. We show in love. Not all. Not all. You are a hate preacher. Just the Islamists. I don't know how the church is. Just the Islamists. Which church is the Islamists? The, Islamist. the, Islamist. the problem with you, you is that you only hear you and you only see how come you what you want to hear. How come you represent a religion? How come you want to see? And, and I'm going to prove him wrong. Okay. Right now. This okay. is okay. a translation of Quran. Answer that. This one to slap you with the Quran. The of Quran. That your sect is that your religion. Question. You are terrorist like is Khartoum. Is the translation of Quran? You are a terrorist like Khartoum. Uh, well, he's unwilling. He's unwilling. Walid is unwilling. Because this is Walid. All he does is he wants to shout. You are bringing the He's incapable of having a conversation. Walid, you're incapable of having a conversation. You are incapable of having a conversation. You are of having a conversation. So, so wake up. So, we Muslim, we don't agree with we what you're saying. We started the day we don't agree with a Muslim threatening a Christian, saying, "Shall I make you on the? Shall I put you on the news? I never leave mine at home." And trying to intimidate multiple Christians, we end the day with a Muslim assaulting an old man and attacking another Christian brother. How many more times must we see this before we recognize that the Islamists are the problem and it's the Islamists that need to be dealt with? No, I said the Islamists. Oh, okay. Did you hear that? Yeah, thank you. That's correct. That's correct. It's not all of them. So, so, You've got to rediscover a muscular Christian faith. Now, because some people have not understood what I've said, yeah. let me make it crystal clear. All right. I am not saying yes, all Muslims are violent. Yeah. Thank you. I am not saying that all Muslims are bad people. Yeah. I am saying yeah. that those Muslims who are peaceful and good people yeah. are so despite their religion, not because of their religion. And that those who are violent and supremacist also because their religion teaches it so. What about Tony Blair? That's yeah. what I'm saying. What about Tony Blair's violence? Now, Tony Blair, what religion is he? Is he does he belong? I don't believe. I don't believe he belongs to any religion. But no, but forget about. Forget about. Let's talk about Tony Blair. Tony Blair was responsible for a million people dying in, in, in the Middle East. For more than a million. So. And he, I, I, I wouldn't even say he's a Christian. He could try and claim he is, but he's, he can't be. He's, the lies that he's told, all those people that have lost their lives, lost their limbs. Let me address, let me address this point. Because there is a false equivalence 
being created by people. The violence that is inspired by the teachings of the Quran and the actions of Muhammad is based upon their prophet. What happens with Tony Blair is a secular liberal politics. The equivalence is a false one. It's comparing apples and coal. This one action of a Muslim person that is meant to be a Muslim insults someone. You can't say all Muslims are the same. It's absurd. So maybe in that situation, you might deserve it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying. So debate. You've, you've, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Your equivalence is a false one. Don't preach. Okay. Why is that? The second is my Yeah. Your, your equivalence is a completely false one because you're equivocating based upon the secular politics of a liberal democracy compared to the inspired violence of a religious text. Those things are not the same. We Christians have 1400 years of history of what it means to be persecuted under Islam. And I'm not having you tell me my history. If you want to know okay. what Christians so what went through, Christian one second, countries one, one second, lands. which what Christian country, mean? which Christian country? Well, with the Britain, America. Right. Yeah. America is a secular state, not a Christian one. But, but I'm the United it's, it's, Kingdom, it's, it's, yeah, but, but it's whole constitution the United, is, is in no, the name of God. It's, it's in God. no, 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 that's, that's no, whole constitution. you know, it isn't in the constitution. Let's be clear. The constitution, and this is the problem, is that you don't get your equivalence that you're making. The United States is a secular liberal country. It separates church and state. It's in the constitution to separate church and state. All right. You're okay? Technicalities. I understand. No, it's not a technicality, okay, it's a Blair, fact. Tony Blair claimed that he's a Christian, right? But he is responsible yep. for killing many people in the Middle East, right? His actions and it, you know, you know, as I say, his false accusations about yep. the weapons of mass destruction yep. and not giving, you know, as I say, not willing to give hands fixed time. Yep. Basically, uh, as I say, down to his actions, many Muslims died. Many Muslim, Muslim people uh, lost so, their so lives. So let, let's talk. And lost their limbs. And, and this again is so, a, so this is a false equivalence because Tony Blair is not a prophet. Tony Blair is not a religious figure. You're, that, a more accurate, a more accurate comparison, more, more, a more accurate comparison. I would say he's not. All right, he's not even listening. So I'll talk to someone else. So a more accurate comparison would be to compare. Are you even listening? Are you listening? So a more accurate comparison is to compare Tony Blair to um, the president of Turkey. That would be a more accurate comparison. What would be an inaccurate comparison? You're trying to demonize what would Islam. what would what would what would be an inaccurate comparison? What would be an inaccurate comparison? Would be to compare Tony Blair to Muhammad. I am attacking Muhammad's example and Muhammad's teaching. I have already said on record multiple times that many Muslims are better than their prophet. Better than Muhammad because they don't do what Muhammad says they can do, like own and sell slaves. Now let me ask you this question. Do you have an objection to the slave trade? Well, uh, I mean, it's, a com it's a complicated... As and of course, of course. So you do or you don't, I'm not clear. Of course, do I'm you? totally against right. of course, but so we've got you, modern slavery. So, so, we've got exploitation So, one second, one in, second. In, in, Would in you condemn country? A religious book that teaches slavery for today. Well, I, I, I can't answer the question. I haven't. To be honest with you, I'd have to. Uh, you, you're coming out with these accusations. I'm asking. No, I'm asking you I to do a really, thought experiment. Well, Would to, you I'd condemn a book? If I wrote my own religious book and said that it was okay to have slaves today, would you condemn my teaching? It's a thought experiment. Yeah, but, but you, you, yes. Oh, yeah. Right. So you have a problem with Islam. Yeah. I haven't read it properly. To, Do, to, to would make you? That would you? If I if I started a political party today that said we're going to treat Muslims like dimmies, and by dimmies, what I mean is there are protected people that will have less legal rights than Christians. Would you condemn that? Answer. Well. I mean, the, answer the question. The would you is, condemn if you, it? In, if you look into any of these, would you condemn if it? If you look into any of these religious books, if you look into any of these, would you condemn books, it? You're always going to find things that 
that would you do condemn not make it? sense or they, there's a constitution would you condemn it? or they promote. Would, would you condemn it? Disagree would, with. You condemn would you condemn it? Well, you know, look, you would can, you condemn it? But you can look into any of these books. Would you condemn it? I'm just trusting your. Your, uh, no, my thought experiment was. Have you, if read, have you read the Quran? Thought have you read the Quran then? Yes. yes. My thought have experiment. You, why did you read the Quran? Listen, listen. No, don't run away. Well, why did you don't run away? Don't run away. Don't run away. You claim to know so much listen. about the Quran. Listen. listen. I'm wondering why you really, listen. Were you thinking of becoming a Muslim then. Listen thinking, to the thought experiment. What were you thinking, or were you trying to find <laughs> listen. Uh, faults? Listen. I was at the beginning. Yes, and I rejected Islam because of the example of Muhammad. Now, yes, I've just answered your question. Now answer my question that you have been avoiding. If I wrote a book that said that Muslims should be treated legally as less worth than Christians, would you condemn it? Yes. Of course, yeah. Well, Islam teaches that. So you have a problem with Islam. But then Christians are also like that. In the, in the Bible it says if you don't believe okay. in our ideology, show me. then you're, you're, show me. you're, you're not going show to, me to in the New Testament. No, but that's what it says. Show me. believe in Jesus. Show, show me. All the time. Go all on, the show time. Me. These religious people show me. are saying the same thing. Here you go. They're saying if you show don't follow our way, you, you are, you Great cannot speech. go to heaven. Great <laughs> Now you're evidence. Great speech. Well, that's what Christians are, even in this Great speech. Now you're evidence. They're always saying you've got to follow Jesus. Great speech. Now you're evidence. Show me in the New Testament. Show me. I mean, I'd have to go and look. Google it. Get out your phone. Yeah, Google, 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 it. Google it. Google it now. It's, 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 Show me. Show me your evidence. Where does Jesus teach that a Muslim is worth less than a Christian? Well, he wouldn't say it directly, but he's basically saying well, if you don't, if you don't believe in Jesus, yeah. if you don't believe in Christianity, show me where he implies if you don't believe it. In Christianity, then you you basically are, 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 are. Shall I tell you something? You know, Bro, someone you, a non-believer. Shall, shall I correct you? You're you not going to go to heaven. Shall I correct that's, you? That's, that's, that's what well, they, they say. No, 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 no. We're not talking about heaven and hell. We're talking about equality in the law. Pay attention. No, but, no, but I'm still We're talking about is, equality yeah, in the law. Pay attention. I am paying attention. Then yeah, keep I, up with the argument. No, because you have argument. a problem with Islam because Islam teaches I got no slavery. Islam. I, I've got, I've got so you don't have all, a problem with I've got slave a problem trading. With all the religious books because they so, think so you don't have a problem with slave trading. Of course I have a problem with slave trading. If the Quran I, teaches I slave problem. trading, do you condemn that? Do you condemn that? I have a problem with all these all Do these you condemn books? the Quran's teaching of slave trading? Because it's, it's written by man. Answer that question. Yeah, who and and answer the question. women to trust their words. Answer right? the question. And, and, and governments answer the question. Have changed those books too many Why times. are you running from the question? Uh, if, look, stop <laughs> spewing out the next platitude and engage with me in a conversation. Yeah. I asked you. Yeah. The Quran teaches the use and the selling and the buying of slaves. Do you condemn that? Yes or no? I, I, of course I'd condemn slave trading. Yeah, so, course. when yeah. he yeah. does it, yeah. it's yeah. not yeah. Islamophobia. Yeah. But when I do it, ah. it is Islamophobia. Ah, okay. How is your you're, Islamophobia you're, you're, different you're, from you're, my you're Islamophobia? Over, you're you're anti-Islamic. <laughs> Obviously you're anti-Islamic. I'm not uh, Islamophobia. Do you think that it's right or wrong to be against Muslims? slave trade? Are you scared of Muslims? No, not at all. Not at all. Oh, well, then, not at all. Then you're not Islamic. Not, probably. All right. Great. Are you anti Thank you. Islam? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, well, okay, I'm anti Islam. I am, I am yeah, anti Islam. All these, all these terms. But I'm not we, Islamophobic. The same thing with anti Semitism. No, it's a false no. Term. You see, you're just jumping it's, around. No, you're I'm not saying, keeping up with the argument. No, I'm, I'm we can both talk over one terms. another and we can both do this or we can have a conversation. Yeah, conversation. Now, conversation. I want to dominate I, the conversation. You're because you aren't a capable of having a conversation. And when I talk, you just continue talking. You just continue talking. You're not giving me. You state. You state. That because I criticize Islam for the same things that you criticize Islam for, that I am in the wrong. But yet you think it's okay for you to do it. That is the hypocrisy of the political elites in this country. They condemn slavery, but they won't condemn the Quran, which teaches slavery. Amen. And that is the difference between the Christian and muscular Christianity look, and our political elites well, look at the is that we will the that condemn slave trade. the slave that trade the taught in the Quran. Yeah. We had Jews that were controlling the, the ships, that owned all the ships, the Jews. Yeah, they owned all the ships. The Jews did. And the, Christi and, and the Jews owned the all the ships. The transatlantic slave trade was under Christianity, under Christian countries, England, right. Spain. Shall I show you how little you know? When was the first time slavery was abolished in England? Well, I, you know, I, I, that's, I mean, 
They've always you can't just say you don't know. They've always exploited. When was labor, slavery abolished when in are, England? Even when they abolished things. Answer the still, question. Uh, Why it's, are you not answering the question? It's a oh, it's a deception it's a to deception. ask a question it's about history. Let me tell you, slavery was first abolished in England in 1066. <laughs> when was slavery first abolished in Saudi Arabia? <laughs> when? 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 Slavery was first abolished in 1962. Why did Saudi Arabia abolish slavery? Why, Bob? Because the West forced them to. That's the difference between Islam and Christianity. The liberals will so condemn when did, when slavery, did, so when did but they won't condemn a book that teaches slavery. Right, go on. Go on, go on. I'll ask your question. So, so when, when did the, these Christian countries uh, then adopt back to having uh, a slave trade? Well, from I, I, about, yeah, 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 from about the 1700s. Now, what happened in the 1700s? Okay, so, so it just goes What happened in the 1700s? Tell me, tell me what the Enlightenment happened. What Enlightenment was that? The Enlightenment was when Europe decided to put Christianity onto the back burner and to follow the philosophies of men. And that is why the West readopted slavery. Christians have abolished slavery multiple times Stop in multiple it, places over 2,000 years. Islam yeah. has yeah. never yeah. abolished yeah. slavery. Yeah. Now, yeah. when yeah. I condemn yeah. slavery, yeah. you yeah. applaud yeah. me. Yeah. When I condemn yeah. the yeah. book, yeah. the yeah. teacher yeah. slavery, yeah. you yeah. condemn yeah. me. Yeah. But yeah. you would yeah. condemn yeah. slavery yeah. yourself. With staying slavery, you got some nerve. You shouldn't even. Islam the word has practiced slavery for fourteen hundred years. Can I show you a badge? You can't say that. Saying Britain and abolished slavery. Can I look at Babylon? Like like pretend that they 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 actually were they did abolish slave trade. Can, can you show me in the They carried on. He's not using that. Can you show me in the New can you show me in the New Testament where it teaches we should own slaves? Go to the app. Go, go to your book. <laughs> well, I, 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 I did, I did. I want to know if it's in his book. Like, like the, yeah. I don't think I've got it here. Read it to the Quran. Yeah, read it to the Bible and hit points. I mean, I, I have a problem with the Bible. I have a problem with the Bible. Can I see your verse? Can I show you a verse? Because it says, an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an eye for an eye, or a little bit of an you talk about no, no, dominating. No, no, no. Here's a verse. You ask for a verse. You ask for a verse. You ask for a verse. Hello. You ask for a verse. So, 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 so I'll talk to everybody else. Luke 19, 27. So the question let me, is. Let me show you the verse. So the I'll question the is. Luke 19, 27. What do we do? Jesus said. What do we do? For those enemies of mine. Yes. You should not want me to be king over them. Yes. Bring them here and kill them in front of me. Luke right. 19, 27. Right. Starting with him. So. That's it. Let's Wait. look at What's Luke 19, 27. Read your corrupt Bible right now. Let's look at 1927. Right every, every website on so, of our Bible, it says, Jesus said, but don't send me the Bible. You don't want me to kill you. You give them over there, them here and kill them in front of me. Are you listening? And you're saying that Muhammad Are you listening? Muhammad was a rapist, a murderer, a pedophile, a slave trader, a desecrator of religious sanctuaries. Open it. He was one who had it. sex with Open a child. It. Open it. Why should we not no, condemn no, 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 no. him? You told him not to Why should we not condemn him? No, no, you told him not to change. Now notice, him. you asked the question now? and you lost Why interest in the answer. Wait, wait, wait. And Why that shows Why that you have a closed mind. Bring me the verse. Bring me the verse. So, bring me the verse. Bring me the verse. let's talk about the verse. Let me see. Let's talk. What was it? 1927. So, let's read it. Let's read it. Listen. So he said. Are you listening? Show the verse. Are you listening? Show the verse. Are you listening? Shall I read out the verse to you guys? I'm literally going to read it. Go, go. I don't want no. Are you listening? Show me the verse. Are we going to read? Show me the verse. Let me, let me just deal with his point. You're, no, you're trying to go back to the verse 27. Why are you scared of an answer? You're going to verse 27. Why are you scared of an answer? Verse 27. I'll tell you why you're scared of an answer. Show 27. No, no. Because Muslims have a script. And the moment you take them off the script, they clueless and they panic. This man, so, 
Listen, listen, reading from verse 20. Listen, 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 why are you afraid? Why are you afraid? He can read it and then I'll read it in context. Because you're frightened to be taken off your script. Go on, read your verse. Luke 19, Luke 19, 27, Jesus said, but those enemies of mine who did not want me to be king over them, bring them here and kill them in front of me. Right. Did Jesus say that yes or no? So. Did Jesus say that yes or no? Of course he did. So. The whole argument so, is a problem. So. so argument let him walk away. Let him walk away. He's just going to walk away. Because the thing is. The moment you take them off their script, they panic and they run away. Because in context, this passage is at the back of a parable. A parable about the judgment of Christ. And Christ is talking about judgment. A reference to kill them in front of me is talking about those who will be sent to hell? Read the script. So, this is what it says in context. Then the other came saying, Lord, here is your pound. This is a, in the middle of a parable. Jesus is telling a parable. It's called the parable of the talents. It's about, one second. It's about, it's about what you do with the gifts that God gives you. So Jesus says, listen, he said, this is reading from verse 11, I'll skip ahead. As they were listening to this, he went on to tell a parable. And the parable is about what you do with the gifts that God gives you. Now notice, hard man dower guy runs away when we take him off his script. Because the dower gang don't know how to debate the moment you take them away from their pathetic script. This is what the parable says. It reads from verse 20. This is in the middle of the parable. Then the others came saying, Lord, here is your pound. I wrapped it up as a piece of cloth, for I was afraid because of what a harsh man you are. You take what you did not deposit and you reap what you did not sow. He said to him, I will judge you by your own words, you wicked slave. You knew, did you, that I was a harsh man, taking what I did not deposit and reaping what I did not sow. Why then did you not put my money into a bank? Then when I returned, I could have collected it with interest. He said to the bystanders, Take the ten pounds. And they said to him, Lord, he has the ten pounds. I tell you, all those who have more will be given. But those who have nothing, even what they will have, will be taken away. But as for those my enemies, slay them in front of me. This is a parable about the last judgment and about what you do or do not do with the gifts that God gives you. It is not a command to kill people as the Dawa idiot tried to suggest. And this is why they run away. Once they delivered the little bit of script, they run away. What's your question? You don't know what you're talking about. You're an idiot. Hashim said a month ago, Muslims attacked between cows and killed 3,000 people. Did you, do you believe the Muslims carried out that attack? Yes, Islamists carried out that no, attack. No, they did not. That was an inside job. The twin cows were turned to dust. Rubbish. They were turned to dust. Rubbish. Uh, Rubbish conspiracy nonsense. No, it's not. it's they not. equivocate on who the real criminals were that day. Al-Qaeda admitted no. to the attack. No, they, didn't. they claimed the attack. No, they didn't. Al-Qaeda claimed the attack. No, they didn't. And 9-11 happened before the invasion of any Islamic country in the modern period. 
So, so, there we go. You have a choice. Are you going to be bullied or are you going to stand up for yourselves? It's really that simple.